Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while. I finished up in Eleanor, got it gone, took it to the guy, went on vacation, cleaned up around here a little bit, and now we're back on these cars. I gotta get an Impala done, and then it's going to Maine, and we're getting this car behind me done, and I can't remember, it's been months and months and months. Hey, you found your toy, Ellie. But we're gonna get back on this, this uh, fastback conversion, and uh, I think this will be like part two. We'll have to go back and figure out. It's like months ago when I did that. But we're going to get back on this car. We're going to finish it up and get it knocked out and get it out of here. But my welder took a crap. So luckily, a company reached out and wanted to know if I would review their welder. So in the nick of time, we need to do a lot of welding on this car. So uh, I, think it's, I think it's a yes welder. We'll turn around and check it out. So do you all remember this car? This was going to be like a uh, coupe to fastback conversion series. I think I did part one. Never did part two. This car has been put up in storage. Because we've had other things going on. I've been knocking other customers' cars out and getting them gone. It's this car's time to shine. This car, and we're working on Impala because it's got to go. And we're also working on the John Wick car. Or we're fixing to start back on the John Wick car. This bad boy. John Wick Carter. I can't wait to start back in on that series. And we're going to hit it hot and heavy and get it out of here. First things first, though, we got to get this welder unboxed. And little man, my 15 year old, he just put this stand together for me because the old uh, the Lincoln, well, she's been a good welder for, I don't know, 15, probably 15 years, 20 years. And it just got to where all it wants to do is just, just splatter. It'll still weld, but boy, it'll burn you up. I think it's something to do with the ground. I've done everything, but it it, it no working no more. So we're gonna try out this welder here. It's a 200 amp, yes welder, uh, DP 200. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna get it set up on the stand, and I'm gonna get us some gas hooked up, and we're gonna try this welder on thin sheet metal and just see how it does. This thing has got one killer artwork on the side of it. I love it. I don't like the fact that this is on this side. I probably need to take that off. A little man put this together. That's going to interfere with that door open. Looks like it open anyway, will it? No, it wouldn't open even if that was. Hmm. I'll take that off because I really don't need that. Wow, check that out. Welcome, metal artist. That's pretty cool. That's some pretty cool artwork right there. So I'm already liking it already because it's capable of the big spool. I like it. I got a new I got a new spool somewhere. Let me go see if I can find my new wire. And we'll finish hooking this thing up. Got a, uh, we got an adapter for 220 or 110. That's good. I'll probably run it on 110 most of the time. If y'all do recall, another company sent me a little bitty T tiny welder. That was a toy. I mean, it'd be great for. It worked really good, but. I could probably only see you using that like on job sites or something like if you had to if you had to run and go help somebody it'd be great for that well this is the best thing so we got us a new liner this liner is so that we can put uh wire to weld aluminum metal change out our liner that's 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 the real reason why I wanted this thing. They call it a carbon and something or other liner. Let me look it up and see what it's called. Whew. Graph. I don't know how to pronounce that. Graphene feeding liner. Cool. Graphene feeding liner. So it looks like it comes with two different kinds of wire, does it? There's a couple of aluminum wire. That'd be great. I think it's like silicone. 
bottom base or something. So this will be the mid solid wire, which we won't be using that little rope. Oh, this is flux core, so they didn't give us no aluminum wire. It wasn't aluminum. That's okay, we'll get some. This is very important. We definitely wanted this. Now I can weld aluminum. I just have to give me some straight argon. Okay, let's look these instructions up here. Figure out how we're going to do this. Well, look here what the lead this thing got. It wants. Man, it's beautiful. Nice nozzle. Look yeah, at what a nozzle this thing's got on it. That's beautiful. Most of them falling off. Dude, this is nice. This is Cadillac compared to what I've been driving. That don't got no O-rings on? I don't guess it gets any O-rings. So, went through, read the manual. So, I'm working with around 18 gauge metal. It's more like 19 gauge. So, I went ahead and just set it to 18 gauge. Uh, a guy don't steal, a guy don't mix gas, a guy don't .35 wire, a guy don't mix gun. I checked the gas, uh, the gas flow. I got it set on 25. This thing is popping. I don't know. This car is making weird noises. But anyway, I just roughly set it up real quick, like, uh, and we're gonna try it. I don't know if those settings are right, but we're gonna try it. Used to old school welders where you just turn a knob, A, B, C, or D for voltage, and one, two, one through ten for wire speed. So we're gonna learn together on this one, fellers. So. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to try to finish stitch welding that up. Like I said, this is the first time trying this welder, so let's see how it does. I may have to go in here and play with the settings some more. I don't know. I'm going to take my hat off. Yep, we support no buy script garage today. I ain't cleaning this metal or nothing. We're just going to try it and see what it does. One, I'm just gonna take some getting used to this one. I'm used to my other one, it's more straighter. Woo, that baby burning hot. Huh? That's what I'm doing right now. We're trying it out. Oh, oh yeah, it works great. Looks really good. That's just me just rough playing with the settings. I just did that. I'm not trying to make it prettier enough because all this gets ground down and covered up with Dura glass. All I'm doing is just stitch welding in between these welds. And these welds was done with the other welder. That one's done with this Yes welder. This one's done with the Yes welder. Boy, it gets it hotter than... It gets it hot. So I'm going to have to play with the settings some because, boy, you're talking about warping the panels. That welder means business. I'll do a couple more welds, but I'm already impressed with it. That's fancy. It is fancy, isn't it? 
we can go in here and change any of our settings. You see, like you can change it from steel. You can go from stainless or aluminum. Well, you can down aluminum. Yeah. How do we go back? Let me go back to home. Okay, so pick that. Of course, we're on mixed gas. 7525. We got our wire. You can change it from 24 to 45. I got an 18 gauge, maybe I need to change it to 20. Maybe it wouldn't be so hot. Only let me go to 20. Huh. It won't let me go to 20. Maybe because of the wire size I've got. We'll keep it at 18. I got it on 2T. Just because in the direct in the instructions. It was talking about the way it would come on and off, slowly, gradually turn off. Leave it on that. Fade. I guess the amperage would fade. You got it on mid gun. You got your spool gun option. Pulse off. I like it so far. I may have to play with my amperage, turn my amperage down a little bit. I have to turn the volts down a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to keep playing with it, but I like it so far. Pretty cool. Good little welder. All right, so we know it'll weld sheet metal. Pretty good without burning through it. That's some pretty thin stuff. So let's see how good it does on something thick. See, this is, that's probably three eighths of an inch thick, and this is a quarter of an inch thick. So let's see if we can weld them together. So keep in mind, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm used to old school stuff like this, y'all. I'm old school. You know, A, B, C, D, and 1 through 10. So, we're still welding steel, but we're, we know we're not welding 18 gauge anymore. So, I don't even go up to, it goes up to 1 eighth. Let's just, let's just choose that and see if it'll weld it. So, it's changed everything for us. Let's try it. Let's see how it does. Try this thing. Oh, won't work without no ground, will it? That's my bad. Okay, I'll try it again. That sucker right there welds great. Look at that. Shoot, that's beautiful right there. Man, you're talking about some penetration too. Look at the heat line in that bad boy. Man. That's a good welder. I do recommend going and getting this. Yes, welder DP200. You are my new favorite welder. I can't wait to weld aluminum. So this is a MIG, TIG, stick, uh, spool gun option. And I'm gonna get uh, some wire so we can test aluminum in this welder. We're gonna change out our liner. 
and I can't wait for that day. I recommend it, guys. Go check them out. I'm going to put a link in the description. Till next time, and the next video after this video, after this little review video, uh, it'll be part two of this car right here. So right after I upload this video, I'm going to start setting up the camera, and we're going to start getting this thing out of here. Finishing it up and getting it out of here. So look forward to that, guys.